सोरठ मोहल्ला पंजवा हमरी गणित न गणिया काई अपना बिरद पहचान हाथ दे राखे कर अपने सदा सदा रंग मान साचा साहिब साद मेहरबान बंद पाया मेरा सतगुरु पूरा होई सर्व कल्याण रहाओ जियो पाए पिंड जिन साजया दिता पनण खान अपने दास की आप पैज राखी नानक साध कुर्बान तेरे कवन कवन गुण कह कह गावा तू साहिब गुणी निधाना तुमरी महिमा वर्ण न साको तू ठाकुर ऊच भगवान तन तन सतगुरु श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी दे पवित्र पावन साजी निवाजी गुरु खालसा सात संगत जियो वाहेगुरु जी का खालसा वाहेगुरु जी की फतेह सतगुरु श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज हैज ब्लेस्ड अस विद दिस फ्यू मोमेंट्स these moments to share his glorious praises and to listen to the great actions of those people who sacrificed their all for truth, for sat, for the honor of those people who were mercilessly killed innocent Sikh people, in honor of those surmi, those warriors who gave their all and gave their heads for the sake of the Sikh faith and for the sake of the Sikh insignia, for the sake of the Sikh places of worship, Gurdwari Sahib. Bhai Sahib Bhai Harveer Singh Ji has explained to you the whole details of Shaheed Bhai Harjinder Singh Ji Jinda and Bhai Sukhdev Singh Ji Sukha. Singhana Bainti Kiti Si, the Singhs had discussed yesterday that we talk about the Ardas today. And I was struggling to kind of think of how to link what Bhai Sahib was just talking about to the Ardas. And then Bhai Sahib in the talk just said, where did they get their power from? And that was the link. Because the power that any person gets whether we breathe, whether we're alive, whether we're going to sacrifice that breath is from Tan Tan Sat Guru Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj. Tan Tan Sat Guru Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj begins with Ik. And the power for anyone to do anything in this world is received from Ik. In Ik, in one, in oneness there's no duality. There's nothing else but one. In one, there is no half measures or quarter measures. There is just one. It's whole. So from Akal Purkha Vahiguru, you receive that energy and that power. In breaking down the Ardas, the Ardas begins with Ik, Oankar, Sri Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Ik, it begins from one as well. So when a Gursik places his thoughts and his worries and his concerns in front of Ik, Akal Purkh Vaheguru, then Vaheguru will fulfill those desires because there's no other. There's no other where those desires are being put. In terms of the Ardas, <coughs> how do we do the Ardas today and where does it come from, where does it originate from? Anything that a Gursikh does today, we follow the footsteps of our elders before and our Guru size before. So whatever the Guru has done, a Gursikh will do. If Panjave Guru Sahib, Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj is sitting on a hot plate and being sacrificed for the sake of truth, then his Gurusiks will also do that at one point. 
If Guru Tegh Bahadur Ji Maharaj is giving his head for the sake of another's faith, for other people, then a Gursikh will place his head on the line for the sake of others as well. If Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj can sacrifice his whole family, his mother, his father and his children, then the Gursikh will also do that as well. Not overtaking the Guru, but following in the footsteps of Guru Sahib. It's a riti or a maryada or a discipline that the gurus have always remembered the guru size before them or the elders before them and that's what the ardas is. If you imagine you're standing in a room and you've got a worry or a concern, as you walk through the ardas in your mind, that one vahiguru, that one akal purhu vahiguru is the creator, sustainer and destroyer of everything. His energy is in everyone. Eko Angar. Siri Vahiguru Ji Ki Fateh. Siri, respected Vahiguru, great enlightener. Ji Ki Fateh. Ji is a respectful Shabd. So out of respect, we recognize Vahiguru to be everything. And that Vahiguru is always victorious. He always wins. So in effect there, what you're effectively doing by just saying those few words is already pushing yourself on the path of one. Even if you've got an ardas about duality, but when you start the ardas, you start off with those words, you're already taking yourself out of duality. Or dilemmas, or superstitions, or worries. Because where there's ik, there's no other. Tan Tan Satguru Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj has done the same. Although, out of respect, Gursikhs will also say this and out of a, a way to kind of teach us the path Guruji has to come to our level to pull us out of the Maya and get us to recognize that Guruji himself is Vaheguru. When we walk in the path of Sikhi at the start we will have these moments where you will find Guru Sahib Ji calling to you to come onto his path and then as you get more and more into Sikhi you realize uh, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is actually Guruji, the person who actually pulled me into the path and tried to unite me with Vaheguru is actually Vaheguru. There's no difference. But that process takes some time. It can take lifetimes. We're lucky if we can get it all in one go. That Sodji, that thought process, that Guruji is the one who guided me into the path and is now the Nishanna for me as well. He is my all. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, when he was asked by the Siddhs, these miraculous saints, people who expressed, well, tried, exercised extreme forms of yoga, who is your Guru? And whose Chella are you? Who do you belong to? The young Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj at that time replied, Savad Guru Surat Thona Chella. That my Guru is the word, the Shabd. Maharaj didn't just say it, Maharaj showed us as well. When we look at Guruji's life, it's full of meditation and re repetition of the name of God. When we look at Guruji getting married, you can see Guruji refusing to walk around the fire and asking to walk around the Shabd or the word itself. So we know that Guruji's life was full of Naam and their Isht or their desire, their love, their beloved was the name of God. And that's what Maharaj replied. Where does the discipline of Ardas come into it? The discipline of Ardas comes into it when we read Asadivar or when we even read Mool Mantra because Mool Mantra is describing Vaheguru. Guruji is calling upon a Vaheguru. When you notice, when you look at the writings of any Gursikhs in the Sikh Panth, they will always praise their Gurus before. They'll always call in upon the Gurus. So Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj set this Mriyada into stone of remembering their elders or their most wisest before them. The Mool Mantra is an example of the Ardas. If we want to take it further, Salok Mahalla Pahla Balihari Gure Apane Dyohari Sadvar Jin Manaste Devte Kiye Kartana Lagi Var Guru Nanak Dev Ji Nasadivar says Balihari Gure Apane I am a sacrifice to my Guru. Guru Nanak Dev Ji's Guru is Vaheguru. They are Vaheguru but to kind of get us on the path, they're detaching themselves from Vaheguru, humbleizing for us. 
ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸੈਜ਼ ਬਲਿਹਾਰੀ ਗੁਰੇ ਆਪਣੇ ਦਿਓਹਾਰੀ ਸਦਵਾਰਾ ਮੈਂ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈ ਸੈਕਰੀਫਾਈਸ ਫੋਰਐਵਰ ਨੈਵਰ ਟੂ ਦਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਜਿਨ ਮਾਨਸ ਤੇ ਦੇਵ ਤੇ ਕੀਏ ਕਰਤਨ ਲਾਗੀ ਵਾਰ ਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਹੂ ਇਨ ਐਨ ਇਨਸਟੈਂਟ ਕੈਨ ਮੇਕ ਪੀ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਇਨਟੂ ਐਂਜਲਿਕ ਬੀਇੰਗਸ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਆਲ ਅਸਿਮਲੇਟ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਕੁਐਸਚਨ ਵੀ ਕੈਨ ਜਸਟ ਬੀ ਅ ਨੋਰਮਲ ਰਨ ਆਫ ਦ ਮਿਲ ਹਿਊਮਨ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਹੂ ਡਸ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਆਲਸ ਇਨ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ drinks alcohol goes out and does what we need to do but in one second maraj can just transform that just like that and make you into gold that's the power of guru sanji bale hari gure apne i am a sacrifice to that vahe guru who transforms normal human beings or run of the mill common people into a kal purakh vahe guru into angelic beings where this guru angad dev ji maharaj is any evidence of maharaj also calling upon the gurus and in the next lok of asadiwar mahalla duja je sau chanda ugwa hai suraj chade hazar ete chanan hodya gurbin ghor andhar guru angad dev ji then explains cuz guru angad dev ji was that person who came on the horse was he He was the one who came with the horse and Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj grabbed the reins of the horse and said you want to go to Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj I'll take you there and it was Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj himself Guru Angad Dev Ji Pai Lena Ji was sitting on the horse and Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj grabbed the reins and said you want to go and see Guru Nanak Dev Ji I'll take you there and it was Guru Nanak Dev Ji himself and that Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj Dusre Pasha says if there was a 100 suns to suddenly rise in the sky je sau chanda if there was 100 moons illuminating the skies je sau chanda ugwa they suddenly appeared suraj chade hazar and there was a thousand suns all the light of 100 moons and 100 suns thousand suns put together on the world ete chanan hunde hain amongst all the illumination gurbin ko randar if you didn't have a guru you'll be total darkness you'll be in total darkness if you had no guru so guru nan dev ji maharaj is guru was the word of akal purakh vahe guru guru angad dev ji maharaj remembers members guru nan dev ji maharaj and as we go through the path sanya let's go to guru arjan dev ji maharaj tan tan sat guru guru arjan dev ji maharaj the fifth guru who at the request of gur six recited the whole sukhmani sahib part and in sukhmani sahib 24000 words each word symbolizes a single breath that we have in a day on average we have 24000 breaths a day and by reading sukhmani sahib once you get several phal one phal one fruit that you get is the ability to be more peaceful to be at peace with yourself the other fall that you get of sukhmani sahib part is that with every single breath of yours is accounted for by doing one sukhmani sahib a day your whole swas of the day get accounted for because you remember the vahiguru 24000 times with each shabd phir satguru guru arjan dev ji maharaj didn't stop there if you recite sukhmani sahib you get all material wealth the worldly stuff comes to you as well that you even you just had a thought that maybe i need a house maybe i need a car maybe i need some clothes whatever and they come to you without you even trying and the last fall to those people who have gone past those thoughts and maybe had done ardas some for those kind of material thoughts is that you get the society of mahapurus those people who remember god 24/7 jinana visara naam se kane ha what kind of state must they be in that don't mem- mem- forget why go for one instant what spiritual avastha must they be at you get that kind of company of saints in sukhmani sahib when you recite the first slok ek ankar satgur prasad slok and it comes ad gur e namah jug ad gur e namah satgur de satgur e namah sri gurudev e namah those words are guru arjan dev ji maharaj remembering or doing ardas before the gurus before them ad gur e namah ad 
means Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. Ad Gur A A with a La means that I say it with a hundred and ten percent faith, akal and sharda, with my wisdom, with everything that I have, whatever I have, hundred and ten percent commitment, Maharaj. I believe in it that you are the Ad Guru Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj. No meh, me matha dekda. I bow before you. Yoga Ad Guru Eh Na Meh. Yoga means two. Ad means second. So the second Guru Nan Dev Ji, Guru Angad Dev Ji Maharaj. Yoga Ad Guru Eh Na Meh. I bow before you. I matha take before you as well. Sat Guru Eh Na Meh. My Sat Guru Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, who is the grandfather of Guru Arjan Dev Ji Maharaj. Sat Guru Eh Na Meh. I believe in you with 110% nishcha karke with faith that you are my guru and I bow before you. Sri Gurudev E Namah Gurudev Mata Gurudev Pita Tan Tan Sat Guru Ram Das Ji Maharaj the father of Guru Rajan Dev Ji Maharaj Guru Rajan Dev Ji says I bow before you with 110% faith and affection. So there's a start in the Vada Das is developing as they go through it. Tan Tan Sat Guru Har Gobind Ji Maharaj when they go to battle, if you look at the Tehas of Gursikhs, before going to battle, they would stand in Harmandar Sahib, do Prakarma of Harmandar Sahib, stand in Harmandar Sahib, do Deg, make Deg, and then remember the Panch Guru Sahib behind before them. Then they would go into Jang. And then the Riti continued like that, Right through to Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj. Guru Sikh Sastra Maharaj, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, Maharaj Ji, is there anything that we can do where our dasas can just come true? What do we need to do if we've got an obstacle and we need to get rid of that obstacle, whether it's a mind-related one, depression or something, or whether it's like a physically related, or whether it's you know, money-motivated, or whether it's material-motivated, Maharaj, what can we do to destroy that vigan? Because Maharaj gives everything to his Guru Sikhs. Oswale in Sao Saki, the references for this Saki that Guruji said that if you get Deg made by a Tiar Bhatiar Gursik, Amartari, Tiar Bhatiar means as prepared as ever, always prepared, no Teliai, nothing whatsoever. Get them to make the Deg and then from Pan Singhs, get them to do Ardas Painti. Some people say three Anand Sahibs they should read. But actually there's a much a bigger Maryada method of reading the Baniya. And it includes Bani from Jabji Sahib. It includes Jab Sahib, Tan Tan Sri Guru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj's Bani. Guru Amar Das Ji Maharaj, the third Guru's Bani. There's a little method. And have you recite that method from the Pan Singh to get them to the Ardas Minti, whatever obstacle you have will be obliterated just like that. And the Ardas that we have today, when we read Ikwankar Sri Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh Sri Pagati Ji Sahai, Var Sri Pagati Ji Ki Paat Sahi Dasmi. You don't need to go any further than that, just discuss what the meanings of those will soon come in front of, front of you in the Sangat because Gurmukh Pyari are recording the Ardas and that will be placed before you very soon. I'm not going to go into it too much because there's so much time. But in those few sentences, Guruji, not just once, but three times, places his wishes and his love before Akal Purkh Vahiguru. And that opening kind of praise of the Gurus carries on. And all the nine Gurus are mentioned. Up until there, Tantan Satguru Gobind Singh Sahib Ji Maharaj wrote those words himself and they form the opening of a Bani called Chandi Divar. That is also in Dasam Granth. There are a lot of people who detract themselves from Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and it's quite shameful for you to call yourself Sikhs if you do that, I feel. Because if you question your Guru, what are you questioning? If Guruji's got so much love for Akaapur Vaheguru and so much faith in Vaheguru, if you question one of your Gurus, then in fact what you are questioning 
is their origins. You're questioning Akal Prabhupada Guru that he ever existed. Then what difference does that make you from an agnostic person or a, or a person who doesn't believe in God? An atheist. What difference is there? You're just a second in form but not in deeds or word then. So we should have total faith that, that words, those words in the Ardas are created by Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj and no one else. Okay, that was the Guru size. What about Guru Six? Guru Sikhanavirdasa Bintiakiti, our Sikh history is full of Ardasa. Full of Ardasa. The whole history in itself is an Ardas. It's the praise. Ardas means praise. Ardas. Ard matlam hunda katana. Arda also means ar. Era rada. Ere rada ar. And then you have das, the spelling of it. Das means humble or humble servant. But ar has many meanings. And the meanings change with a sihari or an onkar or whatever, whichever you way you want to put it. Arda matlab hunda katana. Era rara katana. Ere rari nu sihari means dushman. Ere rara onkar. It means totally different art. Like you stand in there in defiance. But ere rara means cut. Cut yourself. If you put all those three things, Maharaj, mere samne dushman viya, main thwade samne daas ban ke khada, aap ji kirpa karo, dushman nu hita diyo. I'm standing before you because I've got some, somebody who's not, I'm not liking them, my enemy, can you destroy them for me, Maharaj? No problem, Maharaj does it. Sometimes we get teed him what we ask for. Maharaj Chaida, O Chaida, but Maharaj knows everything. He hears everything. But sometimes out of our teetness depends what type of teetness it is. Depends how being teet. Because if you're teet and you got love for Guruji and you say, Maharaj, I have a lot of love for you. 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 Then Maharaj gets a question and says, Chalo, leo. But sometimes if you go with a teetness, because Maharaj, I don't care what you, what you think about it, but I want this. Maharaj also will say, Seva thori mangan bauta. Seva ta kardi ni hai ke mangi yanne hoti. Some people ask those questions, why is it that I don't receive anything from Maharaj when I do Ardaas? Problem isn't in Maharaj. You have to look at yourself and think, right, how many times have I asked Maharaj? Have I asked this thing over and over again? And I'm still not getting it. I must be doing something wrong. If the Gursik standing in front of Guruji has got no hankar and no ego and in compute humility and says, Guruji, I am blessed by your Sikhi. You keep me in wrath. You keep me in discipline. I don't cut my case. I don't drink alcohol. I try to do seva as much as I can, Maharaj. As much as you allow me to, I do it. Place the ball back in the court of Guruji at all times. Maharaj, I don't hurt anyone's, I don't hurt anyone's heart intentionally, but if unintentionally I might have hurt someone, I don't know about it. Maharaj, minu maaf kar deo, but I need this. Maharaj then gives it you. Because sometimes what we've done in our lives, we've created a list already. You made a promise to Maharaj, Maharaj, I'm going and then you don't do it. Or sometimes, Maharaj, I seva karunga and we don't do it. Sometimes we have a, a subnimum list made in our minds that we don't even realize we've done and we need to go revisit those things and think, have we actually done those things before we stand before Guruji and us? But Maharaj, remember, will look at your love. When I was coming to Sikhi, when a lot of people were coming to Sikhi, sometimes their das is just in English. Standing before Maharaj, Maharaj, please help me. I really need help. And Maharaj then shows you. At the time of Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj, Satguru Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj went to an island. The island was owned by a Raja called Sudarsan. Sudarsan had a son called Indrasan, and Indrasan had a friend called Pai Chandaji. Satguru Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj went there. I was Antar Jamta. Antar Jamta means Noah of your insides. Antar means inside. Jamta means knows it. Knows, understands it. Knows exactly what you're thinking, where you're going, what you're doing, where you've been, who you are, where you come from. 
ਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਨੌਜ ਹੋਦਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਦੇ ਪਾਇ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਸਿੰਘ ਵਿਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਪਾਇ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਕਿਸ ਹੰਗਰੀ ਪਾਇ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੋ ਭੁੱਖ ਲੱਗੀ ਆ ਜੀ ਕੀ ਖਾਵਾਂਗਾ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੋ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਖਲਾਵਾਂਗੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਦੇ ਦਿਓ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਕਿਰਪਾ ਕਰੋ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅੱਛਾ ਸਤਿਗੁਰੂ ਨਾਨਕ ਦੇਵ ਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਮੇਰਾ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਹੈ ਇੱਥੇ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਨੇ ਬੀਂਟ ਦੇ ਸਾਲ ਬਿਫੋਰ ਮੇਰਾ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਆ ਮਾ ਫਰੈਂਡ ਸੀ ਆ ਗੋ ਆਨ ਵਿਜ਼ਿਟ ਹਿਮ ਹਿਸ ਨੇਮ ਇਜ਼ ਭਾਈ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਉਹ ਫਲਾਨੇ ਨਗਰ ਚ ਰਹਿੰਦਾ ਆ ਹੇ ਆਫ ਈ ਜੀ ਸਤ ਵਚਨ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਜੀ ਯੂ ਵਰ ਇਸ ਟ੍ਰੂ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਆ ਗੋ ਯੂ ਵੈਂਟ ਟਨ ਪਾਇ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਮੈਂ ਪਾਇ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਇਜ਼ ਵਾਕਿੰਗ ਟੂਵਰਡਸ ਨਗਰ ਹੀ ਸਤੋ ਮੈਂ ਤਾਂ ਆ ਤਾਂ ਗਿਆ ਦਨ ਨਗਰ ਵਾਲ ਪਰ ਹਾਉ ਆਲ ਆਰ ਰੈਕਗਨਾਈਜ਼ ਪਾਇ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਆਈ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੋ ਹੂ ਇਸ ਨਾਜ਼ੀ ਵਾਸ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਨਾ ਜਿਹੜਾ ਉਹ ਭਾਈ ਇੰਦਰ ਸੈਨ ਸੀ ਦ ਨੈਫਿਊ ਆਫ ਦ ਰਾਜਾ ਹੀ ਕੇਮ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਾਹਰੋਂ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਸੰਤ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਆ ਮਹਾਪੁਰਖ ਲੱਗਦੇ ਆ ਵਾਟ ਡੂ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਹੂ ਯੂ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਆਮ ਲੁਕਿੰਗ ਫੋਰ ਭਾਈ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਭਾਈ ਇੰਦਰ ਸੈਨ ਲਾਫਟ ਐਂਡ ਸਮਾਈਲਡ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਆਸ਼ੋ ਯੂ ਵੇਰ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਐਂਡ ਹੀ ਟੋਕ ਹਿਮ ਟੂ ਦ ਡਾਇਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਭਾਈ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਹੀ ਸੈਡ ਦਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਊਸ ਦਸ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਫਾਈਂਡ ਭਾਈ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਭਾਈ ਮਰਦਾਨਾ ਜੀ ਵੈਂਟ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ knocked on the door pai chanda ji opened it and he saw pai mardana ji standing there pai chanda ji was fixing his manji at that time manji bun de si that time and as he he's preparing he saw pai mardana ji finished it off and pai chanda ji said come and sit on this one i've just made it a new one and you look like a saint come and sit here pai mardana ji sat on the stool he dasso ki seva kariye and he said uh, i was asked to eat something because your friend guru nanak dev ji maharaj sent me here and he says guru nanak dev ji maharaj says, i've never heard of guru nanak dev ji maharaj i don't have a friend called guru nanak dev ji maharaj who is that khana bhi bisar gaya pai mardana ji fuka there must be some god tak behind this there must be some miracle behind this something is about to happen Pai Mardana said he goes Guruji sent me here said you're his friend and you've known him for such a long time but, and you don't know him and he goes no I've never heard of him but he whoever he, it is it seems like a very special person main huni taiyar karke le aana prasada he took prasada with him and they both went to see Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj jad sat Guru Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj ko laaye they put the food there pai chanda ji matha te to maharaj out of devotion because as soon as he saw maharaj he realized there's something about this person fell in maharaj's feet stood up with his hands together maharaj tusi kaun ho and maharaj said tusi kaun ho and he goes maharaj ji main pai chanda ji ha and he goes what who are you and he goes uh, i don't know i've bought this food here will you eat this food and he goes no i'm not going to eat the food guru nanak dev ji maharaj said he goes what do you mean i'm not going to what do you not going to eat the food he goes who bought you here he pretend to pai mardana ji who told you to go and get pai chanda ji maharaj is the game he's the game player he knows everything and he goes oh take a banda milya si oda naam sega indar sain shayad and pai chanda ji spot to and he said yeah he goes that's my friend asha gurunan dev ji maharaj says and he goes you two are both friends then pai chanda ji and pai ਇੰਦਰ ਸੈਨ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਆ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਮਹਾਰਾਜ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੀ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਬੈਠਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਹੁੰਦੇ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਹੀ ਪਾਈ ਇੰਦਰ ਸੈਨ ਪਾਈ ਚੰਡਾ ਜੀ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਸਿਟ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਫੋਰੈਸਟ ਵੇਅਰ ਦੇ ਵਾਂਟਿਡ ਟੂ ਐਂਡ ਦੇ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਫੋਕਸ ਦਾ ਅਟੈਂਸ਼ਨ ਦਨ ਕਾਲ ਪਰ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਦੋਨੋਂ ਹੀ ਬੈਠ ਕੇ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਕਰਦੇ ਸੀ ਮਿੱਤਰ ਐਂਡ ਐਵਰੀ ਡੇ ਆਫਟਰ ਦੇ ਡਿਨ ਦਾ ਸਿਮਰਨ ਦੇ ਵੁੱਡ ਪ੍ਰੇਅ ਟੂ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਆ ਕਾਲ ਪਰ ਵਾਹਿ ਗੁਰੂ ਕੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਕੋਈ ਪੂਰਾ ਗੁਰੂ ਮਿਲਾ ਦਿਓ please can you can you please make me meet with some perfect guru a person a guru who's going to unite us with vai guru who might be the form of vai guru your form on of vai guru in this world because without an astad without a guru you can't get anywhere can you can you get into a driving can you get into a driving test without a driving instructor no you can't can you pass your exams without a tutor you have
You used to sit like brothers and do Simran all the time. Maharaji, Sanu lagda ya ke tu si aye ho. You've answered our ardas. That's how Vaheguru works. He can hear your ardas. He hears your ardas every day. Sometimes even bin bolyan sab ke jana without even saying anything, he knows it all. But out of respect and out of love, we have to put the application into Maharaj. And the application is the ardas. And it's got to be done humbly. And when you apply for a job, for example, application that Rohi Pahamne ko aha lehke naanu reference rufe sara kush peje dhanya sometimes doesn't get accepted, does it? Udhichi koi na koi weakness on diya, there's some sort, there's something in there that's not quite right. And you have to discover what that thing is. It could be hankar, it could be ego. And these two friends were about to discover something. Maharaji Prashadha Shoko nahi haji ni jagna. Maharaji Sanu fir apne sekh bana lo kirpa karo. Make us into your Sikhs. Pai Indar Sen and Pai Chandaji are standing there doing this ardas before Guruji. And Guruji says, Thik hai, jay sekh banna, then you have to give something to your Guru as well. Dikhya vi dini pain diya. What are you going to give? Both friends are thinking now, if Guruji hun poch leya hun ta test aage hun ta Maharaj poch deya, what shall we give? Stood together and said, Maharaj, you can have our families, you can have our wealth, tan, parwar, sab thada kar, sada hi thada, it's all yours. You can have it. When you do ardas, Jiyo paaye penda jin saajaya, Ditta pendan khan, Papa Buddha ji paaye gurdas ji did that benti, that shabd that we did at the start, Hamri ganatana ganiya kai, Maharaj, I'm full of organs, don't count my list of faults. Hamri ganatana ganiya kai, Apna birth pashan, Maharaj, your innate nature is to look after us and, and, and protect us and preserve us. That kind of ardas, you have to put it all through my Maharaj. Our house, our parvar and our wealth is yours. Lelo Maharaj ji. Maharaj ji, thik ya. Fair hun tisi parvar varta. You've given everything to me, your house and wealth, but is there anything else to give? And they looked at each other and they thought, thik ya, haan. Maharaj sada antish karan ya. Antish karan means, imagine an, where you have the holder to put the arrows in. You have four different arrows. An archer ca harry, carries it on his back and puts the four arrows in there. That container is like what we call the Antishkaran. And it's got four different arrows in it, four different things in it. Maharaj said, Man Antishkaran jira, oh lelo to see. Thiga Maharaj can then you can, I'll give you, you've given me your mind now. Is there anything else left? They started thinking, Maharaj, what else is there? If we've given our bodies, We've given our minds, we've given everything. What, monkey, sochan You know what is it that we have to give? Those four arrows are our man, our chit, our bud, our These four things are what we are created of. Man means your mind, what you think of. Bud means the wisdom that comes from that mind. So your education, whatever you've been taught, your wisdom is as a result of that. Chit is your dilemmas and your doubts. And hankar is your ego. They make up the mind, the man. A lot of people will say, Main ummat ni shagna haji man ni karda. The man's always going to do that. Man buddh chit hankar, which is always going to say, don't take amrit. The man is always going to say, don't go sangat. The man is always going to say, case ni rakhne. The man is always going to say, shrab, pija, a shar de kam. It's always going to say that. Always. But you have to destroy that and replace it with the Guru's teachings. Guru di matalani bandiya usole. Guruji said to them, TK, you're given your mind. You've given it, that's fine. But hun jiri tu si is there any other doubts that you have? And as soon as they thought of a question to ask Maharaj, Maharaj says, just stop it there. No more questions. Look how Maharaj is playing with them. Maharaj says to them, no more questions. Because that is the habit of your chitvani. That you're going to keep asking questions. Stop your mind. Stop thinking of any doubts. Then the two brothers, two friends started thinking, right. If we've got no doubts, we've got no, we've got no dilemmas. That finally, we've got Guruji. Maharaj said, stop it there. That's hankar. Give that to me. So they put their mind, their body, their wealth. They put their family. 
they put man, buddh, chit, hankar, their dilemmas, their thoughts, everything before Guruji and their hankar. And as soon as they put their hankar in front of Maharaj, Jira Indra Sansi, the one who showed the path to Pai Mardana Ji, Udhis Madhi Lagi, he just went into trance. And in that trance of remembering Vaheguru, he didn't get up for three pair. Then one pair is three hours long. So nine hours he sat in one chankara. And as soon as Maharaj ate the prasada and gave a little food to Pai Chanda Ji, Udhivi Smadhi Lagi. For nine hours, both Pai Chanda Ji and Pai Indra Sanji Ji are sitting there remembering Vaheguru. They've got no sankalap, they've got no thoughts, they've got nothing except for Vaheguru Kaapur, Vaheguru. And in that state, they both saw Vaheguru. They both had darshan of Vaheguru. The illumination of that same light that we're saying is nothing that the hundred moons and thousand like suns, the light of all that put together was nothing compared to what Prakash they saw. And when Guruji then took that samadhi after nine hours, Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj blessed Prachar on Tupai Chandaji. He says, now in this area, you're the main Pracharak. You have to spread the word of Sikhi because you've seen Vaheguru, now share it. Look where it started. It all started from the Adas, right? When you got Jodis like by Jinda and Sukha who give their all, their body, their mind, their soul and everything, that is equivalent of those Indra Sen and that other Sadhu by Chandaji. Because they had to go through a mind process of eliminating it all. But by Jinda and Sukha gave it a body and soul. They gave everything to Guruji and had nothing else to rely on except for that. Nothing else. So the Ardas, that when we do the Ardas before Guruji, we should always do it with a, um, a sense that, Maharaj, you're going to sort it out anyway. I've got nothing to worry about. Kirpa karo. You've got to have that faith for Maharaj. And Maharaj then resolve it. There's different types of Ardas we see. When we do Prakash of Guru Granth Sahib, the Granthi Singh will do Ardas. When we do Sokhasana of Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj, and throughout the day when there is Ardas undone from Sangat, Granthi Singhs will do Ardas in front of Guruji. It's a riti that's fast disappearing. And we sometimes make the Granthi Singhs the butt of our joke sometimes. But I'm going to tell you a couple of things about Granthi Singhs and doing Ardas. Any Gursik. If you get the Granthi Singh of your house, of your Guru's house in your area to do Ardas for you, or you serve them and you do Seva of them with Prasadda Pani, and you give them whatever they need require, because they spend their whole day with Guruji, Regardless of what they might be like, you've got the intention that a hey, Guru Devizira, these are the equivalent of Baba Buddha Ji and Pai Gurdas Ji, whatever Das the Granthi Singh does in front of Guruji, it will be satisfied. All you got to do is do the Seva with that Pavana, with that love. There was a Gursik that I know who would always slander Granthi Singhs. He'd always turn around and say, Oh, Granthi, Khai, and they go around with that, yeah, that, They've got fat days and they don't do anything else all day. You just take money from Sangha, stuff like that. Really insulting things. And he would say it all the time. Every time would hear him, he'd be saying the same thing. He couldn't get a job. He tried so much. He was really well educated. And then he said one day, he came up to me and he goes, You know what, Vice I love. And what shall we do? When Jabani Mildi Hagi is like, you know. And some of the Singhs got together and they all said, Why don't you do Seva of the Granthi Singh and serve him in such a way that you think that's Guruji's Vizir and get him to do Ardas for you? And he did that. He did it within two days. He had four job offers. Four job offers within two days. Isn't that something to think about? Where's our Pavna today? Guru Gobind Singh Ji Maharaj's time, Maharaj went to this area where there was very poor people, Garib Jani Loksi. And they came to Maharaj and said, Maharaj, we can't get all your things to come down our house to feed you. Can you send one thing per household? Then Guruji sent one thing per household. And one thing, all the things came back, some got fed. And one thing came back, it was Baad Shant Atmasi. I think his name Pai Jagaji, Pai Jagaji his name was. And he came in and he said, 
Guruji standing there and Maharaj asked him because he knew what had happened. Tehaki shake ajan, what was it like? And that Gursik put his hands together and he said, Maharaj, jo mein aj shake ajan, I've never tasted anything so amazing in my life what I've had today. That was his reply. And his, the house owner, the greedy person who was with him, standing next to him, he was standing there and he said, he put his head down in shame because he knew what he had fed him. Maharaj asked him again, he goes, Das we say ki Maharaj jo nanda aja hai na, wo kade ni aya aja langar shake. And then the, the guy who was serving him spoke up, he goes, Maharaj, he didn't say ni bolde, Maharaj ji, Maharaj ji, I'm so grieb, I didn't have anything to feed him. I went to the nearest giant of the tree and you need the pods of the plants, you know, where there's got no seeds in them. I cooked them and gave them to eat to him. And he didn't even say anything. He just did ardaas for me. They should have that contentment in their hearts as well that whatever that person's feeding me is amazing. It should be the pavna that counts. So when we put our dasan before Guruji, there's countless of examples where Guru Sikhs even now, even there's people sitting in the Sangha who had that experience. When you've done Ardas and it's just come true just like that, Guruji sorts out all our worries and problems. The easiest way of doing it is doing Simran, doing Seva and listening to Guruji's instructions. Then you don't even need to ask them. Without you even asking. Sote Sidi. Because you've pleased him so much. Baba Deep Singh Ji, we know for his head in his hand, he defeated Moth or death by Ardas. Ardas is, is a very, very strong prayer. I'm going to do another Bainti. The Bainti is there's a lot of people watching the Sikh channel as well. In today's society, our problems in our households as well is stretching to our own families because we don't ever come Sangat and sit in Guruji Hazuri. Depression is at an all time high. In our family, suicide or the wish to do self-harm is very high. I want to kill myself because I'm not happy with what we've seen in front of us in the mirror. That's our all-time high. Drugs, alcohol, family disputes, domestic violence, all these things are engaging our families at the moment. When I say engaging, they can become vacant as well, couldn't they? They don't become vacant because we don't come to Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj for help and assistance. If you've got a depression issue in your family, do Jodi Andi Seva. Come and clean the feet of Guruji's saints. Mull your face in the floor. I've heard Gursiks who, you know, when they seen dust under the Guruji's, you know, Maharaj in Sachkan, there was dust under the bed. I saw, I heard of a Gursik who lay down in the dust and completely covered themselves and the depression just left them, didn't even come back to them ever again. The reason why we have these problems and these fights and these arguments in our family is because the perfect Guru Sangat is empty. By these series, these Panch Buddha series, these five element series, it's full really. The Sangat of Guru Gurmin, Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj is always full. It's got Atmas, all the Sahib Jade, all the Panch Pyare, all the Shahid Singh and Singh that we talk about in the Ardas are all present in the Sangat of Guruji. But we don't want to go and sit next to them, that's the problem. And if we're not going to go and sit next to them, remember, there's nearly, what, 30 million Sikhs around the, country, around the world? And each of those Sikhs do Ardas before Guruji Maharaj. And remember all those Shaheed Singhs and all those Guru Sahibs and all those Singhs and Singhni who gave their lives for the sake of Sikh faith. We remember them in Ardas, right? And if we remember them in Ardas, they must have done something, right? And imagine those Atma and those souls and what they have achieved. And they're coming and standing and sitting beside you and say, don't worry, I'm looking after you, I'm here for you. Yet we don't take the opportunity with Bhadrin Ardas before Guruji. Guruji's Ardas, so the Ardas before Guruji can sort everything out. Treat each other Gursiks with respect and love. Don't have enmity towards a Gursik. If a Gursik harbors enmity towards another Gursik, they're not a Gursik, are they? They can't be. We've got to kill that Pavna. And we can only kill that Pavna by putting our thoughts and concentration before Guru Granth Sahib Ji Maharaj and asking for Kirpa. If we don't agree with someone, say it once, say it twice to them, you don't agree with them. And if they don't listen to you then, just come to Guruji and say, that's it, I'm doing my work, I'm doing my work, I'm doing my work. I've had enough, I'm not saying anything, that's the Nishan Niva Gurmukh. 
And the Shani of a Gurmukh is, if somebody is not listening, if you've told him once or twice, then don't keep going on and about it. You leave it to Guruji. Because Guru is in charge. Apne karanche ho jam mahal banaya hoya, apne naujwaan jere ya, ho sikhi wala na chaunde, maape ni chaunde. Jee maape chaunde, phe naujwaan ni chaunde. Why are these clays happening? The clays are happening because A, we've forgotten the Ardaas. We don't want to do with the Ardaas. And we don't want to read Bani. We don't want to do Simran. We don't want to do Seva. You do those things. Maharaj will full out choliyan. Chaar pradar th jeko maangai. Saajana ki Seva laagai. Inni bhenti parwaan karni. Please forgive if I made any mistakes. In talking about Guruji's ithyas. Or sharing stories about Guruji's hatam. Pav de Ardaas. I would have said loads of things that might offend others or even try to explain the Tehas incorrectly. Please forgive me for my mistakes. Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki